In April, the vineyards spring to life. The shoots begin to burst with buds. They grow day after day until the first small leaves appear. Between April and May, the young shoots are getting longer and the temperature rises to over 10 degrees centigrade or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. From spring until late summer, the grower spends many hours in the vineyards. Grapevines require a great deal of maintenance and the management of the vineyard requires constant attention. They must be pruned and trimmed properly to avoid excess growth. With the month of May, the vine is in bloom, repeating an event that has magic and is renewed every year with the ritual called the fruit set, as it is called in technical jargon. The flowers enclosed in each berry becomes a grape and together they are called cluster. After the stage, each cluster turns downward to be prepared for the eventual harvest. In the Alba Hills, the vines continue to grow, only the pace is different. Some grow quickly and others a little slower. Sooner or later, all of the grapes arrive at the perfect point of ripeness. Moscato, Ameis, Favorita, Dolcetto and Nascetto are faster. Freisa, Bonarda, Barbero and Nebbiolo take their time on the road to maturity. Nebbiolo in particular, among the vineyards of the Lange and Roero, is the snail. It is the first to wake up and break bud in the spring, and it is also the last to ripen in the autumn. Summer in the vineyards, at least the month of August, is usually sleepy. When the grapes first begin to change color, it is the right time to remove the excess clusters. This will send the nutrients to the remaining clusters, and as a result, the color and the fruit will be intense and fully ripe. At the end of July and in August, the attention of the wine returns to the cellar. The vineyard is not forgotten, but the work is no longer as pressing as before. At the Cantina del Nebbiolo, these are the times dedicated to bottling, preparation of equipment, and tanks for crushing and winemaking. In the vineyards, there are ongoing checks on the maturation of the grapes and plans on when, and the approach for the harvest and organization for making wine.